might be thinking. This is a tech channel, like, why is this kid mukbang on like, eating a sub? And, um, you're right. I don't have a defense for that. I just, I don't even know. I'm putting this in the video. So know. it seems like a lot of you guys, um, are learning and studying for technical interviews or learning programming and you're watching my videos and you don't have interviews. Like you, I even see people that don't have experience and they just want to learn this stuff. And like, if you don't have interviews, that's totally fine. I, uh, I'd say like for sure learn this stuff before you schedule your interviews anyway, because like you need like three months in advance to get good at this stuff. And like when you apply to jobs, like a recruiter will reach out to you, schedule your phone interview same week, and then you get your actual technicals like two weeks later, like that's pretty soon. So you really don't have that much time to prepare, honestly. But yeah, I think there is a missing part of information. Like what if you just studied for all this stuff, but you can't get an interview, then you just wasted all your time. So uh, I want to give you guys some tips on job application and, or internship application strategy if you're trying to get an internship. Not that many uh, channels. I've, I actually haven't seen any videos on this um, where people talk about how they apply to jobs. Probably because it's just like people think it's common knowledge. But I think that, you know, people when I hear people complaining that they can't get interviews or jobs, um and uh it, the tech industry has so many jobs i just don't really see how that's even possible so uh, i'm just gonna tell you guys what i do and what you probably should do if you're either desperate for a job or you just really want to get your first thing going uh, if you have a specific company in mind you're obviously just gonna have to go through whatever process they have for applying like make a portal account or something like that but but if you don't really care and you just want to hear back from some people maybe even just to build your confidence uh then this is what you got to do um i'm gonna keep it short and simple just go to linkedin upload your resume as a pdf and type in software engineer software developer in the job section there's a bunch of filters you can filter by location and stuff like that or maybe specify the specific position maybe technologies you want to use and uh, there's this thing called LinkedIn Easy Apply. So once you search the jobs, you get pages and pages of these jobs. And um, what you want to do is you want to avoid the ones with long applications, like making a portal account and stuff like that. And uh, you just want to hit the Easy Apply button. So just hit Easy Apply and send your application. Easy Apply, send. Easy Apply, send. Uh, sometimes there's like, it takes you to a little page where you answer like three questions. So those ones are worth it. But... Generally, you can just get through a few hundred of them in a couple hours if you just hit that button over and over again. And uh, there's a lot of good companies, a lot of mid-tier, bigger companies on LinkedIn. So you're going to end up applying to a bunch of them. Even if you don't read through them at all, you just apply and basically spam your resume out. Um, I think it's a good strategy because if you apply to a few hundred, you're increasing your chances of hearing back. And if you really need a job, then you're increasing your chances of getting a job. So, uh, another one is, if you don't care about where you work, is AngelList. AngelList, you just uh, fill out your profile with your experience, your education, your background, like a little profile. Then they have the same thing as LinkedIn Easy Apply. You filter and search, you get pages of jobs, and you just go down, and uh, you just hit whatever it is, apply now or whatever, and then you hit send. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes they might ask you to write a sentence about yourself or something, or a sentence about why you might want to work there. But uh, super easy. And if you do both of those, you can manage to get up to a thousand applications. Uh, AngelList is mostly like startup companies and LinkedIn is mid to bigger tier usually, but there are startups. So uh, just spam your resume out to a thousand places and then your chances of hearing back are pretty high, you know? If you're getting rejected by a thousand places, then there must be something wrong with your resume. And if you want to know how to fix your resume, go get a resume template. Uh, there's sites for that, like overleaf.com. You could find these great resume templates. Some of them are made specifically for computer science resumes. And yeah, just replace all the information, the little lorem ipsum bull crap. Just uh, replace that with your own personal information. It'll be laid out perfectly. 
and your resume will look professional because it's made with a template just like everyone else. It's like a standard thing. And uh, you just gotta know a little bit of LaTeX or LaTeX or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, that's it. You get a professional resume, spam your thing out to a thousand places, screw it, dude. Who cares? Like spam your resume, whatever. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with spamming the resume out. So there you go. That's my advice. Spam your resume. And I'm being dead serious, so. Uh, let me know if there's any negative repercussions. I haven't seen any when I do this. I don't, I just do it to build my confidence and then I apply to the specific companies I want to. So I spam because then you can even just practice your interviews at some of the companies you don't want to work at. And then uh, for the more specific ones, you can take it more seriously. Just build your confidence, spam your resume. Seriously, tell me why that's a bad idea. And um, yeah, that's it. Get your resume up, spam it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Um, and please like and subscribe so the channel grows. I'm going to be doing Leak Code videos next. Probably going to make one right now. So see you in the next video. All right. I forgot to ask. Did you guys want a bite of this? Here. Got a, it's a fresh half. There you go.